That resounding thud you heard today was the Irish dropping all the way out of the national rankings after their stunning overtime loss to Northwestern last night. Notre Dame found just about every way to hand the Wildcats a victory from a defense that allowed 547 yards to a previously anemic NU attack. They also, of course, had a series of astounding turnovers, like the Cam McDaniel fumble towards the end of the game that gave the Cats late life. The woes in the kicking game didn't help either, finished off by Kyle Brins' miss in overtime, and the coaching as well. Brian Kelly took the blame today for his decision to go for two, up 11 in the fourth quarter, saying, quote, if we go and kick the extra point, who knows how the game ends? That's on me. It all makes for a team headed in the wrong direction and searching for answers. It's, it's the critical errors through the game. I mean, we just don't play clean enough, you know, as, as a football team. Those are the things that prevent us from winning. You know, you can't start winning until you stop losing. Oh, it's very frustrating as an offense, but like I've been telling everybody else, you know, you just got to put the last play behind you because if you let it, you know, just, just sit on you, then who knows, another bad play can happen. You got to win this week. That was the first thing I thought. Okay, all right, you guys got us, but... We got to find a way to win these next three games, and that's just my only focus right now. Kelly also had updates on a few injuries coming out of the NU game. D lineman Sheldon Day and Daniel Cage both have knee sprains and will undergo MRIs to determine the severity. Everett Golson suffered a shoulder sprain during the loss, though Kelly said that Golson felt like he could throw if need be today. Up next for the Irish, Bobby Petrino in Louisville. The Cardinals feature the nation's interception leader, Gerard Holloman, has picked off 13 passes this year.